Na 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 na. I'm not the type to be noticed. Cause I'm barely five seven. Hi, welcome to another vlog. Oh, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Roshade and I'm a first year at NIBM studying ethical hacking and network security. Right, so today I wanted to talk about something that I really wanted to share for a long time. The reason why I was taking my time was because this topic is kind of sensitive, so I didn't want to offend anyone. But however, here we are. Oh. Before all of that, as you know, I'm a uni student, so there are something called lectures and I need to attend them or else my mom would try to contact Jesus. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so this month is my last month inside campus before vacation and normally when I was in high school around this time I'd be jumping around the house and celebrating because I get to have a break from all that high school stress and I get to go on vacations and all that stuff but since I got to university my idea of being free or getting a break has taken a huge turn to a completely different direction. What I'm trying to say is I'm not excited to be away from university anymore. I'm not happy that I get to not have this lifestyle that I have. And the biggest reason for that, in my opinion, is university is a choice made by me. I'm not forced by anyone to go here and I'm not bounded by any rules. So this basically means that I'm already free. Shit, I'm actually running late. I'll explain a bit more after that. <laughs> Right, about being free. So what I'm trying to say is neither university or the subjects that I chose to study at campus was not something that was forced upon me by somebody else. Like for example, when you're in Sri Lankan high schools, you are limited to choose your subjects from just four streams. And I believe that this is the reason why most of my country's students end up dropping out from high school and choosing a different path, like me, or going abroad to find work, or just end up stranded not knowing what the f to do. Right, back to the point. So the reason for me to make this video is, as a student, I always struggle to find my passion and I would always question life and try to find a purpose for myself. However, lucky for me, with the help of my parents, I was fortunate enough to find that spark in my life without being too late. And by too late, I mean without being much older than I already am. And because of that, learning has become something that I really enjoy. Even if there are some ups and downs in this journey, I won't hesitate to go right past through these challenges. Reason being, because it was my choice. I'm the one who decided to go down this path no matter what. So now, for me, all this university stuff and all this studying has become almost effortless. Of course, there are some times that I struggle as well, but you get the point. And if there are students out there who still struggle to find what you really want to do in life or what passionates you, or what drives you in life, I really hope that this video will be an encouragement for you guys to achieve whatever goals 
you guys have in your life. I hope that this video will motivate you guys to find what you want to do in life rather than what you have to do in life and make it a career and live your whole life as a free person. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's kind of my rant and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.